I, I, <laughs> I just, I am so easily amused by tiny things that actually do something or like, I don't know. So you know the saying when money is burning a hole in your pocket, so that means you have money and you really want to spend it. There needs to be like a word to describe the feeling of that same type of thing, but with a doll that you want to open. <laughs> So today we're going to be taking a look at Barbie. I'm really excited because it is another Barbie Rewind doll, which is my favorite modern Barbie line that has been out in recent years. Sadly, I think that it's being discontinued or I don't know if it's been canceled or what's going on, but um, we haven't really seen or heard much from Barbie Rewind for a little while now. Um, I think the most recent one that I did was the, the uh, movie like a uh, movie night doll. And I do have that video on my channel. And if you want to see that video, then I'll put a link up here so that way you can go check out that video. I'm absolutely obsessed with that doll. I love all of the dolls. The only one that I don't have is this one is like the beauty queen doll. Um, I haven't gotten her yet, but I am genuinely excited for this this doll this is the sleepover doll uh, or like the pajama fun whatever you want to call it um so if you're not familiar with the barbie rewind dolls they are like styled they're a retro style doll so vintage means it's something that's older than 20 years retro means it could be newer but like inspired by something older um so these are retro style dolls uh they are barbie dolls that are uh styled to be like from the 80s so this is 80s edition um anyway so they're all like kind of like inspired by barbies that were out in the 80s um now i don't know what the specific inspiration is for this specific doll uh but she is like in pajamas and like, you know, comes with like accessories and stuff like that for a sleepover, which once I get her out of the box, I'll be able to show you a little bit better. Once again, if you're not familiar with this line or haven't seen it before, the box is really cool because it's meant to look like a VHS tape or like, you know, like a what we used to watch movies on back in the 80s. I'm obsessed with this packaging. I'm also obsessed with this artwork. Look at how gorgeous this is. So here's the thing. I've unboxed all of these dolls and I don't regret it because I like the dolls. I like taking them out, having a chance to play with them and see them. But I love the way that these look. And there is another YouTuber that I follow uh, called Azusa Barbie. Um, she has a display where it's like these like cubicle like Ikea shelves or whatever. And um, I don't know if it's the specific ones that I have or not. It might be. But anyway, um, when you pull this out, it creates like this perfect square that fits the exact shape of that hole. And she has hers displayed in the box. And I'm like, oh God, now I want to get another one of each of the Barbie Rewind dolls just so that way I can display them in some of my empty shelves over here. And, like, I just think that that was such a beautiful idea and way to really appreciate the artwork, but also still be able to see the doll because when you open the doll is right here. And I am obsessed with that. I love it. I would love to display the doll just like this because I love <laughs> I love it. I love it. Um, but that's not what I'm going to do today. I am going to open this doll and I am going to unbox her and take her out so we can have a better look. And let's be real. I just I want to play with the doll. So <laughs> now there is some information on the back here really quick. I'm just going to put it on the screen. So like if you want to read this yourself, uh, please feel free to pause the video and go ahead and read that. Um, I'm not going to read through it myself. Um, I think it's very similar to some of the backs of some of the other boxes that I have read in the past. Oh no, it is unique to this one. Uh, the Barbie Rewind series 80s edition is a totally tubular throwback collection commemorating our favorite pop culture looks from the the decade I think that part's the same but then the rest of this is unique to this specific doll so yeah if you want to if you want to read that part I'll go ahead and put that on the screen all right all right that being said I'm gonna go ahead and open this doll get all of her goodies and accessories out and stuff like that and we'll take a closer look oh, she's so pretty oh my god I'm so excited okay let me get out of the box I'll be right back 
Okay, so I am back. I have the doll out of the box, but I have to show you the accessories. I am obsessed with the things that she comes with. Okay, so let me show you just like the normal stuff first. So she comes with a stand because she is technically a collector doll. Um, and the base of the stand looks like a cassette tape. So this is what we used to listen to music on. And I remember making mixtapes when I was younger. I had a tape recorder and I would record music off the radio. I also had, uh, if you've ever seen Home Alone 2, uh, he had a talk boy. I had one of those because I asked for it for Christmas one year and my aunt got it for me. So I had that and I had a lot of fun playing with that because you could also like speed it up and slow it down. And if you slowed it down and recorded and then played it back in regular speed, everybody sounded like chipmunks. It was really fun. Um, I was amused very easily as a child, apparently. <laughs> oh, she also comes with a uh, certificate of authenticity, by the way. She has a comb and I love this color. This is a weird chartreuse, like pukey lime green color. I don't I don't know how to describe it. It's it's like lime and green, but a little bit more on the yellow side. I still really like it. <laughs> it's funny because it doesn't really match anything else. Like the yellow in her outfit is definitely yellow and her bow up here is like a completely different green. So like this doesn't actually go with anything, but I mean, it is what it is. And then all of her accessories, other than that, like all the accessories she comes with does something. And I love, <laughs> let me just show you. So first of all, you get a can, uh, like keep in mind that this is supposed to be a sleepover. So she's like in her pajamas and we'll, we'll talk about that here in a second. But everything that she has is stuff for like what they girls would do at, at a sleepover in like a movie in the 80s, like the stereotypical. So anyway, you got a, a can of aerosol hairspray with the lid comes off and you can see it's like the little like, you know, like hairspray can um, because, you know, at sleepovers, they would give each other makeovers, I guess. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, along with that, um, there is a little makeup compact. Now it was open in the box, but I was able to close it just because I want to show you that it can close and then you can open it. If I can do this without breaking a nail. Aha, there we go. So you can open it and it's like, that's a mirror. It's a sticker obviously, but it's meant to be a mirror and it's like purple, blue and pink eyeshadow with a little uh, makeup brush right here. It is molded on and painted on. So you can't remove the little makeup brush, but I still love the detail with that. And on the front, there is like a rainbow and stars kind of molded on. It'd be nice if it was painted, but it's not. So along with the makeup palette, there is also a tube of lipstick and it has like a little thing here. So that way it can go on her finger so she can hold it. Um, but basically it is a little tube of lipstick. And if you take the lid off, Oh, I had it upside down. Sorry. <laughs> so it, I guess it goes like this and this is the lid. And if you take it off, there is the lipstick. I am obsessed. Um, the Mermaids Mermaids dolls had something like this and there was a Bratz doll that I think recently that I opened that had something like this. I love this. I love the fact that it opens and that there's a little uh, lipstick in it. She has a little phone, like a little old fashioned, like the rotary telephones and you could pick it up and it has a cord. Like how freaking cool is that? Okay, let me just pause for a second. I know it's kind of weird to get excited over this, but like, it's still really cute. Like it doesn't do anything. It doesn't even have painted details. There's just molded details. But the fact that you can pick up the receiver and it's connected by a little string, like it's an actual little mini toy phone, miniature, like the, almost like the world's smallest, you know, toy phone. and. I don't know, it's just really cool. The last one is probably the coolest one, I think, in my opinion. So you've got this big boxy TV, because back in the day it was like the tube and it was like a projection from the back on the inside on the glass to see the picture. Um, it has a picture of another one of the, um, it has a picture of another one of the Barbie Rewind dolls. It's the pop star doll. So it's almost like she's watching MTV or something like that. And she's performing like Madonna is performing or something like that. I do have, I actually have two of this doll because she's my favorite one from all of the Barbie Rewind dolls. She's my favorite and I have two of her. Um, but anyway, I did review her on my channel. If you want to see this video, I will put a link to it up here in the corner as well. But I love that they included her. It's like a callback to one of the previous um, Barbie be rewind dolls, but that's not the coolest part about it. Um, it ha it's like one of those like TVs with a V is it a VCR under it or is it built in? I think it's supposed to be a TV on top of a VCR. It's all one piece, but what's really cool is the, the V the VHS tape actually comes out. It 
once again, it doesn't do anything. It, there's no batteries. In fact, like it's literally an empty shell. It's just like, but you can use this in a Barbie ha like dollhouse. And it just, it has like all the knobs and buttons and everything. And then you've got a little VHS tape. Once again, no painted details, but it literally fits in there perfectly. And you push it in and it doesn't come out. It stays there. And I don't know, it just, I, <laughs> I just, I am so easily amused by tiny things that actually do something or like, I don't know. Obviously it would be even better if it was like an actual little TV with batteries and did something, you know, like lit up or, or something like, I think that that would be even cooler, but for it just being like Barbie accessories and little pieces of plastic that don't do anything. These are so cool. The lids come off the products, you know, the makeup kit opens, the telephone has an actual like wire, you know, string attached. Like these are really, really cool. If I got these as a kid, I would have loved these. I would have been so obsessed with playing with them and stuff like that, especially the little VCR. I don't, anyway, okay, so now that brings us to the doll. And I have to say, I loved the pop star doll. I loved the back to school doll. I loved the movie night doll. She is giving all of them a run for their money, like with her outfit and how pretty she is. And then the accessories she comes with, I'm really, really liking this doll. Anyway, okay, let me start zooming in so you can see the details. First of all, she's super pretty, very, very 80s. I think this is the Christy face mold. I think, I think I'm not 100% sure on that. I don't know. But um, I think this is Christy. I think it's a different face mold than the like mall shopping doll. Um, I'm not sure, but I love this lime green bow. I love lime green. So I love that they, she has this bow right here. She's super pretty with her hair. Um, she does have bangs. They are kind of curled up and then gelled. Uh, all these have gel in them, but the hair is saran. So it is really nice hair. It looks really pretty. And I love that it's like straight and then like curled at the end. So that's like my favorite kind of hairstyle. Um, she has these giant star earrings, which once again, very 80s, very, especially Barbie from the 80s, very much, I love this. She has these pajamas with like the Capri pajama pants that have like all the cassette tapes printed all over them. And then this really cute like t-shirt here, like sleep shirt has the ruffle sleeves and it has like all the like lightning bolts and other little geometric shapes and stuff like that printed everywhere. And then what's cool is this little picture right here, this little cartoon character is, I don't know if it's Poochie or if it's just a character from Poochie, the, the show, but um, Mattel had another property called Poochie and it was a little dog. And like, um, this is from that, like I said, I don't know if this is the main character named Poochie or one of the side characters or, or if it's just inspired by that, I don't know. Um, but I love that that's a little callback to an older brand or franchise that Mattel had. Now, just like all of most of the Barbie Rewind, if I'm not mistaken, uh, this, you know, she has a little heart ring. And I think most of the Barbie Rewind dolls have a little heart ring just like this, except hers is in like my favorite color, this beautiful teal color. I love that. And then she doesn't have any shoes, but she does have little socks. I love that because, you know, she's in her PJs and her pajamas. You know, she's not going to be wearing shoes. She's not going out anywhere. But she is so stinking cute. Like if I went to a, a slumber party or a sleepover, I'd definitely bring her. Like she is just so cute. Now, these dolls have really interesting articulation um, because they have articulated arms, but like older style legs. So they have movement at the head, um, also at the shoulder, elbow and wrist. Um, nothing at the waist, but then they do have movement at the hips. It's like the ball joint style so like she can actually move around pretty good but then she has like the bend and snap knees and I actually really like this articulation like I love I like the bend and snap knees especially since the, the legs can actually go out it's not just like a forward backward like the older Barbie actually from the 80s but then her arms are fully articulated with the you know like a pretty good range of movement at the elbows and the shoulders and everything and I love how posable they are. And I was trying to get her to hold the phone to, <laughs> to prove my point about the, the posable thing, but it's, she's not holding onto it like really hard to do. <laughs> but yeah, they're, they're really posable. And I actually really like this. 
Which is so weird because like I think I complain about Barbie extra articulation a lot. Like I think that although they're fully articulated, the range of movement isn't as good on them. And um, these aren't made to move by any means, but they have the same arms pretty much as Barbie extra. Um, but they actually technically have a little bit less range of movement because they have the click knees. But for some reason, I prefer the click knees. I don't know. Maybe it's just because they're like the rubbery and they always have the, the pointed toes, which I prefer over flat feet anyway. I don't know. Either way, I'm obsessed with this doll in particular and the accessories. This is like one time that I actually really enjoy the accessories. I'm not usually into doll accessories because I don't do a lot with them. Like I get them with the dolls and then I put them in a bag or in storage out in the other room and I just have a big like trove, like, you know, a big um, horde of, <laughs> of different doll accessories that I'm not doing anything with. But these ones are the first ones in a while that I've gotten like super excited about. So anyway, she is is gorgeous. I'm super happy with all these little accessories. I really like this doll and um, a lot of the Barbie extra, not Barbie, yeah, uh, Barbie Rewind is what I meant to say. The, a lot of the Barbie Rewind dolls have, like, they kind of go on sale and then they go off sale uh, on Amazon, so you just gotta kind of keep checking back. If you do want to pick up this doll, I will leave a link down in the description of this video. That will be an affiliate link, so if you do want to buy this doll for yourself using that link, I do get a little bit of a commission, but definitely, like, check it out and see, you know, I think they're normally $40 usually, but um, they're constantly on and off sales. So like, wait till you can get a good sale price. And then, you know, if you want to get the doll, if it's not on sale right now, wait a little bit and then you should be able to get a good deal. But anyway, that is going to be it for this particular video. Just doing the one doll today uh, or for this video anyway. I did uh, recently, I reviewed a couple Monster High G3 dolls and I've got some others that are coming out this week. So uh, if you enjoyed this video, video, of course, let me know by hitting thumbs up. But if you're not already subscribed, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the Seahorse Army. But that is going to be it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. Of course, as always, I want to hear your thoughts. Let me know what you thought of this doll down in the comment section down below. And I hope I see you in the next video. Bye. If you like this video, you can let me know by hitting thumbs up. You can check out some of my other videos by clicking one of the links on the screen. I post new videos every week, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified every time I upload. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video.